All right, how we doing guys? My name is Ben. This is Andrew. And today we'll be continuing the Ruby reaction journey through volume six, chapter three, The Lost Fable. So uh, run down, last chapter, go. Last chapter, um, we just got a, we got a good bit of a story. Actually, no, it started off with, uh, before we got into all the storytelling and the genie in the bottle, uh, which we call, we got to see Cinder. So she's not dead, but she does seem like she's doing a low, holding a low profile. And it's kind of, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she doesn't want to go back to Salem at all. Maybe she doesn't want to go back at all. But I did say that she is going to pursue that. I said the relic, but I said she was going to want to kill Ruby in them. She mm -hmm. was going to want to pursue that. Um, and that clearly looks like that's what her first intention is right now, is to find them. I and mean, what, what was her objective? Objective in the long run was to kill Ruby. Well, that was her objective. That was her what objective. was Salem's uh, the objective? Relic, the relic. Okay, so... There's a difference between Salem's objective and her objective. And yes, so... Hers was to gain power and kill Can she go Ruby. back to Salem without the relic? No. So she needs the relic to go back to Salem. And she is definitely pursuing the, the group, at least, because she wants that action. She wants that smoke, so... Yeah. yeah. So Cinder's still alive and well. We got to meet this spider group. And uh, the leader's name was, what was her name again? Little Miss Malachite. Little Miss Malachite. And, yeah, she don't play no games, bro. She about her money. Uh, but she's pretty much Cinder asked her, you know, do you know who these people are? And um, threw her a stack. Uh, what what did Malachite say about the people when she showed them? I kind of lost it. Because she, she said that there was like, a guy came through after, or last week and asked about him also. But what was the answer she gave to Cinder when she asked about him? She says, I know we know, but we don't know who in Mistral's looking for her. That's, so they're, they're pretty much saying they're going to keep Cinder here for a week just in case anyone's looking for her. Oh, uh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, So, so I mean, because they're just... They're, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're so, it's like, so, yeah. It's like, I could have just given her the answer, yeah. but... I might be able to make more money if someone yeah. wants her. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, yeah. So that, that happened. Because she had the wanted boards all over the place. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. what if someone was looking for her. So. Yeah, that's true. And then uh, we cut back to the to the derailed train and everyone talking. Come to find, you know, they've Yang confronts Ospin because she had already stated when she came back the first time, or when she had came back, saying that, you know, no more secrets, no more lies. You know, we want everything up front. Tell us everything. All right, cool. I'm going to find out. Um, we found out that the relic attracted Grim last episode. And we were like, she was like, yo, why you not tell us this? And then come to find out there's a lot more. And we find out that the, the bottle uh, to open the uh, the relic used to say the name Jen was the name of the, the being inside of it. And I think that's either Japanese or Chinese for genie. It could be. I think I think Jen is Japanese for and, genie. I could and, be wrong. I and then uh, she, I know there's Jinx. And then Jen right. comes out, and then come to find out she still has two questions left to be asked, even though Ospin had said that there was no questions left. So that was another lie. Um, and then in the midst of them kind of bickering back and forth with Ospin and, and Oscar saying, you know, telling him that he's holding him back kind of thing. Ruby goes ahead and asks the question, what is Ospin hiding from us? And then we find out that way back in the day, there was a castle with a one lady left there, or the one lady, and her name was Salem. So, I'm ready for it, Del. Uh-oh, uh, what's happening? What are you doing? Go to... It's this one. It'd be much longer before this pe <laughs> I beg your Surely you must remember some of them. Fairy tales. Well, there's mm -hmm. the tale of the two brothers, the shallow sea, the girl in the tower. What about the story? The girl in the tower. Salem's the girl in the tower. So there's three of them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's the Shallow Sea, the tale of the two brothers. The two brothers we already know of. Yeah. The God of Light and the yeah. God of Dark. Yep. For creation and destruction. Yeah. And now we have the third one, which is the girl in the tower. tower. So we also now have the Shallow Sea. We're like, what the heck is the Shallow, shallow sea? sea? You know, it's yeah. like, 
We know yeah. these two are coming forward, yeah. but like, what is this? What is this first one? What's a shallow sea? Like, what is this? Yeah, let's get this going. So the re the rewatch potential is, is yeah. absurd. Yes, yeah. because you catch so many things. Huh. This is why I've rewatched this show so many times. There's just so you, much here. You, fi you figure so many things out, yeah. Are you trying to analyze the openers more? Yeah, well, that's why I said this. <laughs> I said because of last volume, how they legit did everything in that thing. I'm, I've been. That's why I was breaking this one down so hard because I'm like, dude, they literally do everything in here. Oh, I think that was a Genlock magazine he was reading, uh -huh. which is their other show. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I think. It could be wrong. It could be one of their other stuff. I still can't believe that tail, dude. Ah, oh, dude, I can't believe this. He was say I was a person. He was she actually was a regular person. This one's probably not going to have a whole lot of commentary from us, Locked by the way. Away by her cruel father, Salem was a girl who desired but one thing. Freedom. She lived in a time when kings and their kingdoms were plentiful, when men and women were capable of greatness, and magic was a gift from the gods that all could wield. And yet there she sat within her tower. So everyone until one day was as strong as all the maidens hero came to brave the mm. challenges within the tower's walls the people of the lands knew him as Ozma unlike those who had come before this warrior was not driven by the prize of the young maiden's hand he fought only for righteousness and his pure heart and courageous soul prevailed the wretched fortress and yet something bound them together Ozma had been ready to give his life for justice countless times but now saw a woman worth saving it for and Salem to her surprise found her freedom not in the outside world she had yearned for but in the eyes of the man that had saved her so where should we go now Wherever you <laughs> the two fell deeply in love, planned adventures around the world, <gasps> and lived happily. Yo, Ospin and Salem were a thing. My guy, Ozma. Ozma, but yeah, we know who that is. <laughs> Ozma, the infallible been. hero of legend, fell ill, and where all of the beasts and blades of the world had fallen short, a single Got sickness COVID. prevailed. <laughs> Gotta wear that mask, big dog. <laughs> so foul. How did the gods let this happen? The gods, brothers of light and darkness, creation and destruction. Salem prayed they would see the injustice that had befallen her love and make things right. The domain of light was a sacred place. <laughs> It was here the elder brother dwelled beside his fountain of life and creation. It was here where mankind would fall to ruin.
Please bring him back to me. I understand your pain, but you demand of me that which I cannot make so. Life and death are part of a delicate balance. So, you won't do it then? To disrupt the cycle of... But that's not fair. That's not fair! Is it the God of Light? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Creation. Let Creation. him rest. No. The God of Darkness. Chilling. <laughs> He's been chilling for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> None dare to enter his home. As men knew what monstrosities emerged from his blackened pools of annihilation. And so you must understand the Dark Lord's surprise when he found a lone woman kneeling before him. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm crawling to you, dude. <laughs> Just give him a redneck Salem voice. Well. <laughs> I was going there, Missy. And professed that she knew only he could answer her prayers. All while careful to make no mention of his elder. Rise, child. And let your faith in me be rewarded. what I please, brother. You may bask in the powers of creation, but you do not own them. This is not creation. Do not lecture me! I will do what I must to maintain order. You dare enter my domain and show such disrespect! Osma! I am abiding by the rules we agreed upon. <laughs> rules Are they just gonna keep going back and forth with Osma? <laughs> and yet the little mortal comes to pray at my feet before your own, so do your right to lay your judgment upon me. Imagine the husband's confusing. It's like, what's happening? Yeah. When you first came to me, I did pity you. But it is clear now that your selfishness and arrogance have led you astray. What did you do to me? I have made you immortal. Immortal? You cannot die. You cannot be with your beloved. So, so long, long as this world turns, you shall walk its face. You <sighs> must learn the importance of life and death. Only then may you rest. Dang. 
Salem was a prisoner once. She's immortal. Her fruitless attempts to reunite with Ozma eventually became nothing more than acts of spite and defiance against the gods. But perhaps the gods were not as powerful as they seemed. She had lied to them, turned them against one another. They were fallible. If she were to turn humanity against light and darkness, she could rid herself of their curse. Or at the very least, she could make them suffer. <laughs> Salem traveled from one kingdom to another, telling tales of how she stole immortality from the gods, welcomed any swordsman to cut her down, and demonstrated her powers. With the kings and queens in awe, she pulled them deeper into her scheme. She painted them pictures of a time when they would no longer have to watch their loved ones wither and die, when they could claim the powers of their creators for themselves, and in turn perfect their own design. <laughs> All they needed to do was destroy their old masters. The gods had hoped that Salem would learn from her eternal curse, and she did. She learned that the hearts of men are easily swayed. Who has led you down this path? <laughs> Kill me now, bruh! <laughs> of the world of this massacre build a new army you do not understand there is no one left you are all that remains of humanity this planet was a beautiful experiment but it is merely a remnant of what it once was remnant what it once was learn from this failure i hope that you will learn from yours no! You can't leave! You can't leave! Come back! Still demanding things of your creators. Ah. So, they destroyed all of humanity. There's no one else. And now she's immortal. Forever. Alone. <laughs> she cursed the gods. She cursed the universe. She cursed everything. Rim can't kill her. Everything but herself. Even if they tried. She wandered yeah. the face of the planet, awaiting a death that would never come. Until fate led her back to the land of darkness. This was it. This had to be it. The brothers grim, the pools of black that continued to give rise to horrific nightmares. If the fountain of life granted her immortality, then surely the pools of grim would finally take it away. She was wrong. This force of pure destruction could not destroy a being of infinite life. Instead, it created a being of infinite life with a desire for pure destruction. And in time, she would find her adversary. <laughs> you think stuff like this was possible in volume one? No, this is insane. <laughs> 
Plasma. Where am I? We are between realms. I'm afraid a tragedy has befallen your home at the hands of my brother. We have chosen to depart this world, but in our absence, I would like to offer you the chance to return to it. I don't understand. Mankind is no more, yet your world remains, and in time, your kind will grow to walk its face once again. However, without our presence, they will be but a fraction of what they once were. Creation, destruction, choice, and knowledge were the ideals upon which humanity was made. Now, I leave them behind with the hope that you may learn to remake yourselves. If brought together, these four relics will summon my brother and I back to your world, and humanity will be judged. If your kind has learned to live in harmony with one another and set aside their differences, then we shall once again live among you, and humanity will be made whole again. But if your kind is unchanged, if you demand our blessings while still fighting amongst yourselves, then man will be found irredeemable, and your world will be wiped from existence. Until your task is complete, you will reincarnate, but in a manner that ensures you are never alone. I'm sorry, but that world just isn't as dear to me without her. If I may, I'd rather return to the afterlife to see Salem. You will not find her there. You mean, she isn't gone? Salem lives, but the woman you hold dear in your memories is gone. Heed this warning. Where you seek comfort, you will only find pain. So, will you- I'll do it. Very well. Interested. Like, mm. Our creation mm. rests within your hands. So the God of Light was and like, so okay, you manage your good. job now. <laughs> Where am I? Nice with the sword too. Yeah. Thank you. Please tell me your name. Who are you? He didn't know. Ozma had found himself in a world completely unfamiliar to him. Cities looked different. Creatures known as the Faunus bore fangs and claws and were locked away in cages. And without the blessing of the gods. No one could perform magic like mankind was once capable of. No one but himself and a woman known as the witch. Wicked During witch. During his years of travel, <laughs> he heard the same frightened whispers that spoke of a terrifying sorceress who commanded dark powers in the wilds among the beasts and monsters. Ozma was convinced that this witch was Salem and decided he needed to see what she had become. <laughs> call it magic or call it something stronger. But in that moment, the two knew exactly who it was that stood before them. What do we do now? Whatever we like. As Salem and Ozma recounted the events which had brought them back together, each withheld parts of their story. Salem, fearing Ozma would reject her, blamed the end of the world on the gods. Ozma, still unsure of where the truth lay, kept his task and the relics a secret. Though time passed and all seemed well, Ozma's conversation with the god of light still lingered in his mind. 
He had found happiness, but humanity seemed more divided than ever before. Are you surprised? This world is quite literally godless. These humans have no one to guide them. Perhaps that's all they need. What are you saying? We could become the gods of this world. Our powers surpass all others. Our souls transcend death. We can mold these lands into whatever we want. What you want. Create the paradise that the old gods could not. The hearts of men are easily swayed. <laughs> <laughs> That's like her motto right there. Uh, tell you. The two amassed a following. That following grew into a prosperous kingdom. And at the head of that kingdom blossomed a family. <gasps> oh my God, what? Are we sure this is right? You said we needed to bring humanity together. In order to do that, we have to spread our word and destroy those who will deny it. What are we doing? <laughs> this isn't what he asked of me. What did you say? It was a miracle. Their children could perform magic. But what should have been a joyous occasion was short-lived. Ozma told Salem everything. The true reason the God of Light had brought him back. The relics that lay scattered around the world. And the day of judgment he had been told to prepare for. Don't you see? None of that matters anymore. Why spend our lives trying to redeem these humans when we can replace them with what they could never be? Mommy? Thus began a long and painful cycle of death and rebirth for Ozma. Some lives were spent in mourning. Many were spent attempting to forget it all. But no matter what, his mind would eventually turn back to the task he had been burdened with. And as the centuries went on, Ozma began to learn the importance of living with the souls with which he had been paired. But no matter where or how he lived, her presence was always felt. If humanity were ever to stand a chance of being united, one thing was clear. He had to destroy Salem. Knowing he could never rid the world of her through any mortal means, Ozma sought out the power of the relics. Armed with my knowledge, 
He believed he could fulfill his promise to the God of Light. That man looks tough. <laughs> uh, but the stash goatee combination. Where are the other relics? He asked me his questions. What powers do they possess? And though I gave him my answers. How do I destroy Salem? Not all of them were to his liking. You can't. Dude, <laughs> that was so much to comprehend, dude. Oh my god, my head hurts, dude. So, Salem and Ospin were a thing thing, and he didn't... See, what I'm thinking of, the, the spring ma made the maidens, is that what that was? Their kids were the maidens? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, they're... Their children died. Okay. Right there. Okay. I was just wondering because at least like... that's that's what is expected because they're not around anymore. Oh, okay. Although a lot of people, a lot of people do think immediately. Oh. Um, but the people have come to a conclusion that um, how she said that some light, many lives were spent in mourning and all this other stuff. Um, while he was the old wizard in the cabin. Yeah. He was like. In like a depressed kind of state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when four girls came by, oh. and that's when he he was like, "Y'all remind me of like my daughters." Oh, so that's that's okay. this is like the the theory. It's not factual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Dude. it's until until it's specifically stated. Yeah. But this is like the most approved theory. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, yeah, the, the you four remind me of like. My little girls. Yeah. And but he passed on his power, he pretty much did in the same way that he gets moved on. So like yeah. he gets moved on to like a like minded soul, but when he but as for um the maidens, it's just they're the last uh last person in their thoughts as long as they as yeah. long as they fit the requirements of a young female. Yeah. You know. So if it's like uh it wasn't necessarily the the similar unless you you could take it that way if yeah. you're like you know like yeah, that's what I thought or whatever. What, it's what but, I thought, but I mean I thought that those, that those were the maidens. I was like they had the maidens together, but uh... because what she want what Salem wanted to do was to create new because they were they were able to they both transcend death, right? So yeah. Salem's immortal, yeah. So she cannot die. And then he just right. keeps coming back to life over Anytime over. he dies, he resurrects. Yeah. Like, well, he, he reincarnates, reincarnates, sorry. So she, like, resurrects almost. Yeah. Right? Because um, she does take damage. Yeah. She can get hurt. But, but she can die. But she'll heal, right? Because yeah. you saw there was a bloody axe. I don't yeah. know if you saw it, but there was a bloody axe. That was her blood. Yeah. And then just whoosh, healed, right? So. Dude. I can't believe it, bro. And then they want to get the relics. Because I don't. But I think the reason Salem wants the relics is to so she can die. Is that why she wants them? That's the, that's the common theory. Yeah. Because she, she wants they to... stated that if you collect all four relics and we come back and y'all are still all fighting, pretty much, yeah, we're just gonna end everything. So that in Salem's eyes is like. That's her way out. Like, yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, I cause chaos. I'm gonna bring y'all back while there's chaos. That's why she's literally yeah. dividing everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, dude, oh, my. and then it was stated right there at the end. How do I destroy Salem? You can't. You can't. Well, the, the to break the, that question down, it's how, Ozma I, asked, "How do how I? do I, I?" That's what I'm saying. I do it. Yeah. Uh, you can't. So the question you can't. Hold on, we'll, but uh, at the same time, though, the God stated to Salem that the only way. Salem. How do I destroy, destroy Salem? Salem? Yes, she said you, you can't. can't. Yeah, you can't. So you can, you can. People have yeah. taken these two lines and yeah. just like because, shredded them up. Because I mean, the gods can destroy Salem, but then again, their promise to Salem was that they're not going to take Salem unless she values the. Value, the meaning, of life, the meaning of life and death. Yeah. So even if they collected all the relics and they said, like, "All right, can you destroy Salem?" They'd be like, 
she hasn't learned the to respect the balance of life and death. Yeah. So there's a so chance that my ultimate theory uh-huh. is that um Salem will have like a redemption arc almost. Yeah. And like the grand finale, she's going to figure out like the final whatever scene or final yeah. couple episodes. She's gonna she's going to accept the meaning of life and that she's gonna figure that out, whatever that means. Yeah. Right. So then she's going to be able to pass away, which will then end Ozma's cycle. So he will go away. Yeah. So Oscar won't necessarily fuse 100% with him. Oh, and I see then, what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, so, so I, I think, and then, but the gods will come back. And then I think that um, they are, because humans are the way they are, gods are supposed to be perfect, right? Yeah. I think Ruby will be the one that's like um yeah like we're not perfect but we're happy yeah, right yeah, this is yeah, this yeah. is life like yeah. this is what it is so yeah. it's like Dude. so that's that's my ultimate it theory grand, i agree with that grand, grand, grand ending grand, grand of the ending entire series I, I don't know how it's gonna end though. yeah but i agree with that i agree with that yeah wow man that was a lot and i know that's pissing off and you can tell because i think yang made the most expression in the statement when it was made, do this. Uh, let me. Let me. Where's my mouse at? Okay, I'm gonna play. back up just a smidge. Yeah, hit play real quick. Where are the other relics? He asked me his questions. What powers do they possess? And though I gave him my answers, how do I destroy Salem? Not all of them were to his liking. You can't. Well, they all had kind of had those eyes, but Gang clenched her fist. She's clenching her fist. She's more in all. They're in all, but she's pissed. This is this is more stuff that he's he, hiding. hiding. And now that they know, they can't. They have no physical way to stop Salem, is what they were just told. So now they're kind of like, now they're feeling, I'm sure Yang's feeling like her mom's feeling right now. What's the point? Yeah. she's she. I guarantee you in the next episode, I could be wrong. Just predicting she's gonna probably bring up the line like my mom was right like so i do have a a, a theory uh, for you uh, um but i don't know exactly how it'd work uh, uh somehow because one question was used uh, right uh raven didn't know how to open the vault I, yeah i don't i don't know exactly how it is but somehow the vault was open i i think raven asked that question that exact question yeah yeah or asked a question that would lead her to do this, like like yeah. Raven, like uh, Yang is doing. So I I don't know exactly what it would be. Yeah. That's my theory on the first question that was used. Yeah, yeah, it could I'd, be. Or that's like where that's like where my mind is going because I I mean Oz, Ozma could have used it. Um, I've been referring to him as Ozpin. It's been so hard for me to refer to him as Ozpin for you. So really, it's Ozma because his name is Ozma. <laughs> so yeah. like in the comment section, I'm talking about like Ozma and stuff. Uh, I'm just like ah, uh, yeah, like it's. Yeah, because Ozpin is his second to last form yeah. that we know of. Yeah, so yeah. he could die and become someone else and go on and go. Dude, on. yeah, I think she's gonna definitely hit us with the line next episode. Like my mother was right this whole time. Like we're fighting Some, we're, something like that. Yeah, we're fighting a fight that we can't win. Like no matter how how many of her people we kill. Yeah, no matter how many grim we fight, it's never gonna end. Yeah, because those pools just continue to create. So, but there is hope because the only way that you have a chance of ending it is the relics, is what it seems like. But the condition. But like I just said, there's a, the, it's a double condition. It's a double condition because humanity when, has because, to be united. Because like you know, um, you know, gods are. Uh, I guess not all gods. Gods, I guess, in other religions can lie, but you know, you know, some gods you can't lie. So like they said Salem, they told Salem. Well, they don't think they have a need to lie. Well, they don't have a need to lie. Yeah. So they told Salem straight up. You know, the only way we will let you rest is if you understand the balance of life and death. So no matter what, even if they get the relics, they'd be like, "All right, we're back." Oh, did she learn life or death yet? Nope, nope she's still here. Have fun. Boop, boop. Have no, fun. they would just erase, uh, yeah. and then Salem uh, would win. Oh, that's right, that's right. Because yeah, they said they would erase everything and everything's Which chaotic. I'm uh, pretty sure that's exactly what Salem yeah, wants. It's well, just, it's, yeah, so I'm saying that's the end game for Salem. She she's wants. She's just like, I just want to die. <laughs> like, and obviously, she's not going to tell her people that. Like, she's not telling Team Witch that. I guarantee you, she's not telling Team Witch that. Probably. Because like means both both Oscar 
or I'm sorry, Ozma. Wait a sec. Move on. Wait a sec. Are we going to see like everyone gain up on Sam in the season finale? Because I can see that happen. Oh, are you talking about like the grand finale? Yeah, like grand finale. Like, I mean, obviously we don't know that. Even you don't know that. But like, I, I can see where like these, now that they know the truth, they could tell Team Witch the truth, like even Cinder. Mm -hmm. Like, you, do you know what, what Salem's endgame is? You don't talk about my leader, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, Cinder, you need to listen to this. Like, she plans on ending everything. Everything. And then Cinder's gonna be like, what are you talking about? Like, everything. Like, go on. <laughs> like, you're done. Like, and then she'll be like, you're a liar, blah, 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 blah. And then next thing you know, everyone's gonna be turning their back on Salem. I'm calling it. I will, I will tell you little minor spoiler, but I'm not going to actually give you too much info. That has come up in the show. Okay, it has I, come up. Yeah. Like, well, because I, I know... Well, it's, it's going in the future. Knowing Ruby and how she talks to people, and she does... Because I don't know if this has been a situation yet in the show, but she has brought up to, like, people, like, you know, the... How do I word it? But she, like, tries to persuade the bad guys, pretty much. You know what I mean? And that's going to be her thing now. Like, you know, your person you're following is literally trying to destroy everything. Just so you just heads up, <laughs> just a heads up, you know? So, you know, Hazel, before you shove those five crystals in your arms and try to beat me up, just so you know, she's going to end everything, you know? But, so, but now we can look at Hazel since you just brought him up. Uh -huh. Right. So Hazel's sister, uh -huh. Gretchen. Yeah. Um, she, Went to Ozpin's Academy, yeah, to become a huntsman, yeah, right. Died on a training mission, so he blames Ozpin. He's part of Salem's crew, he has to know at least some degree uh -huh. that she's like, um, at least immortal, right? Yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. I think that's common knowledge that, that she's immortal, yeah, yeah, because yeah. right? she used that info to gain followers before, yeah. I think this is common info now. Yeah. So she's um, at least immortal. So now, way Oz, way he sees it, it's like, bro, you're taking children, making them into huntsmen to fight an immortal person. Yeah. And one of them was my sister. Yeah. He's so now it's like you're you're fighting a battle you cannot win it but you're not you're not doing it other people are doing it. you're making and other he made the it. statement when they were in that fighting thing yeah um what did he say he, he said say, i will kill you no, 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 no but didn't he say like you're putting innocent kids lives at risk or like you're killing yeah. kids and how many like that. how many more how many more kids need yeah. to die by your hand is what he was saying because yeah. he knows what you're putting the and kids he also against. knows ozpin or ozma is able to reincarnate because so, of the line he said, yeah, and I'm I, going to kill you over and, and over, over again. again. Yeah, it's and like, I think and I think that <laughs> like you just said, he know I think that he doesn't necessarily agree with Salem's ways as we seen how he doesn't like to kill. He tries to I think he tries to avoid killing. Like that's not the person he is. I, he, I mean it might have been the person he I was. I mean he's he has he's killed. taken the huntsman from Haven, uh -huh. he's killed him and Tyrion. Killed a bunch of the hunters yeah, from Haven. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, he and has he also killed. killed Silver Eye Warriors. He has killed. But what I'm saying is, is like it because like you had said, he seems like like if you just saw him, you don't think he's a part of like you wouldn't think he was part of that crew. Like you just think he's some big dude who's just like you know keeps his own minds himself yeah. to his own. So his his self gain, like we just talked about, is more so of. He sees what you're putting these guys. Like you just said, he sees what the hunt, hunters and hunter, uh, all the people have to go up against, and yet you're still training these kids to do this. Like, nah, bro, I'm gonna, I'm doing this not for her. I'm doing it to stop you from doing what you're doing, type of thing. It's yeah, it's yeah. literally like yeah. If you were the best way I could word it for you would be like, which I'm sure you already understand, but it's yeah. like that bridge and that Call of Duty game. Yeah, yeah. those two buildings that that one bridge where you snipe. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. If you if your team leader was just like yo keep running to the bridge keep running at the bridge yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's like it's like D Day almost. yeah yeah D Day yeah, yeah. Where it's just like why are you doing this you know it's like it's like you like you'll never reach the castle yeah, you're yeah. always gonna be on the beach yeah, yeah always like why are you doing this yeah exactly so but if you take another look here he looks pretty defeated yeah so what do you think his plan is. I mean, like I said, his best plan is to get the relics, but I don't, I don't know because, 
But he doesn't, because I guess in his mind, he, he's thinking he can summon the gods to destroy Salem. But he doesn't know this promise that they kept Salem. They don't, he doesn't know about that promise. Unless Salem told him, obviously, while they were together. Yeah, they... I'm sure she did, probably. Yeah, she, it, uh, yeah. It's it's no. Okay, I'll, it's I'll, just, I'll okay. just put that. Yeah, game. okay. Well, so so he does know that. So I don't know what his end game is because he the, there is there an end game for Salem because there really isn't in my eyes. Well, for Salem, it's, for Salem, she has to either learn. Oh, about you it. Oh, yeah, you meant you meant Osmond's for, for, end game for Salem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, his end game for Salem. I mean, clearly her and you know the the only end game is is either the gods destroy everything or she understands life or death. I mean. If you like, I said, you take that question. You know, that, we uh, might get. I don't know what man. We might get some like corny ending, not corny, but like like some it could, cli- it could be yeah. some like cliche ending where like he like grabs Salem as he like 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 they're both defeated and he like kisses her and then like it's like they she then realizes what life or death is and then they both disintegrate and then it's just like. Like oh, okay, like, yeah, 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 like 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 some like <laughs> stupid like you know what I'm saying like those cliche like love movie the endings or whatever you know you yeah. can see that happening. I I, I mean because I, I, really I really hope I hope not too, but like I could see that being like what opened Salem's eyes like life or death yeah <laughs> like what just trolling us with like a couple stick figure uh, drawings yeah yeah like, <laughs> like, yeah I spent years on this show but Come dude on. that's crazy man I don't. I don't know what the I don't I can't even fathom how the end's gonna end now. Like I don't. <laughs> wow, that was a lot. That's a lot to take in, dude. Like I said, this is started off with you know four girls. Four girls go to a school to learn how to kill Grim, and now we're learning that there's a witch who won't die because she's like mad. And there were gods. And there's gods, and there's. Um... But what's also interesting is because the way the gods left, they oh. left in a physical way, so they just. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. You know, like the god of light, he kind of dis- disappeared, but the god of darkness shot away. Yeah. So physically, that means that they're still present. Yeah, yeah. They're just not there. Somewhere. Yeah. In you know the multiverse, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just chilling. So they're they said this be- this planet was a beautiful experiment. Yeah. So how many how other many experiments are there? Is yeah. this does this mean that they're like two? Would they be the humans of their world? Like a oh, two, I don't know, like two random man. people? Oh, snap. Yeah, like that, that's that's the part where people are just like, whoa. And they go, wait, like, I don't want to go I don't yeah, want to go down that route. Because yeah. once you start to get in like deities and stuff, it's like, whoa. Yeah, like, you, gotta, it, you gotta be yeah. really careful with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, like like when you like when they opened the vault uh-huh. and it was like a different plane, everyone was like, Whoa, this is this is not Ooh, this is a dangerous ter- it's a dangerous territory to cross yeah when yeah, you start going to like a different ter- like different planes and yeah, yeah, yeah. Even gods and yeah all this, like, it's but like that bro. was uh that was insane dude that's crazy bro <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> I crazy told you, bro. i told you the show was good though i told you i told you <sighs> Dude, that part was pretty cool. <laughs> and, uh, the Dark Brother was like, you're just mad because a human bow came to bow to me instead of you, blah, blah, blah. And then the... Uh, he, he was This like, part, bro. That part's savage, dude. He Tactical was, nuke incoming! Dude, he destroyed all of... He, I knew that's exactly what he was doing, too. As soon as, this, as, soon as he clumped it, I clenched it, and I saw that one wave, I was like, oh, he's killing all of humanity. Oh, there you go. I mean... I knew that. This man, they they attacked. Like, I mean, you've seen Beerus. Yeah. Like, yeah. When he just like. Well, no, no, what, what, this is like. What I knew, but I, what I was saying was, is like, she. It's um. It's kind of like the sto- the story of you know, if y'all know Noah and the Ark, where mm-hmm. God you know wiped out all of humanity to like restore, pretty much re redo it, pretty much. I knew that was the vibe I got as soon as he crushed it, and I saw that first wave. I was like, he's destroying all of humanity, and they're gonna redo like a redo pretty much yeah yeah and i was like, like i knew exactly yeah. i was like i knew that's exactly what it was I'm and he was gonna keep salem in the midst just because oh, this is just, this is new game plus this is oh new game plus <laughs> <laughs> was it the thing you throw in the fire God. was it the thing you throw in the fire <laughs> no okay oh i can't have so many jokes right now human effigy is that what you throw in the fire yeah i think so yeah 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 is okay. that what it is yeah is something that... like that okay. I, I know what you're talking about yeah i know it's when you, it's once you beat the game once you kill the final boss, there's something you grab, you get an item, and then you go to the huge fire and you throw it in the fire, and it'll be a new game plus. Yeah, something like that. I know that's what it is, though. 
that was like, God, I'm not ready for New Game Plus. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> but I knew that once he did, once I saw him grab that thing, dude, and he clinched it. And I saw the first initial wave. I was like, Oh, he's coming all humanity. I knew that was coming. I mean, he's and, 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 yeah, 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 destruction. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming, dude. And I knew that there was going to be like a restart. And oh man, that's deep, dude. That got real. I got, dude. That's insane. That's insane, bro. I can't believe her. And then the fact that Salem and o what's his name? Os Osma? Osma. Osma. Dude, they were they were a thing, bro. They had kids. Oh my gosh, dude. And it shows, I think another that was one of the other things he didn't want the kids to them to see is that he had of a I mean like a, a dark yeah, I guess kind of a dark side to him for a little bit, you know? Like he was allowing you know, just doing what Salem wanted. He was he was manipulated. He was manipulated. Like so he like he into, into I, what? I don't think he wanted them to see that he had a weak spot. It was her that was his weak spot. You know, he was like, eh. and then he finally clicked to reality. You know, when he looked in that mirror and saw him, I was like, oh, what am I doing? Like, you know, what? I mean, he is a righteous person. Yeah, yeah. It's just the hearts of men are easily swayed. Yeah, and yeah. Salem learned that yeah. very fast and. Cause she wasn't outside of the, she wasn't outside of her little tower. Hey, let's not hey, hold on. Let's not let's remember she killed it. She killed him. Uh, she killed Osma. Well, to be fair, he killed her first. He killed her first. Yes. So if you look, right here. So he's still alive, crawling. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, she re she resurrected. So I mean, it's pretty much they're equally then they're like equal because I I would yeah their soul they're both they both their souls transcend death. It's yeah that's the best. Well, what I was saying is like in a fight they pretty much tied because he's sitting there bleeding out in his human form you know because you know, he he has a humanly body that just dies out and he goes to another one. While she just straight up you know got killed and now she's resurrecting. They both pretty much essentially killed each other. At the same time. Yeah, they, they have advantages and disadvantages. So, like, as for her, it's just her. And um, she Ooh. she doesn't she doesn't grow as a person. She, I mean, she may, but they it's were hers. They were essentially equal. And if you want to say give, I mean, you can, I guess, she was dead two seconds faster than he was. So, you will give Oz, even well, technically, Ozma. He, he was bleeding out. He was going to say he was bleeding he out. Didn't he, he didn't die. So, we'll give, we'll say, so let's say we even give Ozma the sight power level advantage. Yeah, he gave his. He even stated that he lost all of his powers, giving it to the maidens. Though, mm -hmm. so this is when he's at full potential. He's no longer at and full he potential. He split his powers. So I was saying that. he's no longer full potential. So now he even if he went toe to toe with her, it wouldn't be the same at mm -hmm. all. Man, dude. And it's like um. So now we not so Salem. So, it went from a world where the two powerful, most powerful beings were Salem and him. And now it's just Salem. And like, it's just Salem and then these four girls. Yeah, these four girls. Yeah, so I'm saying like so, they have to be, but they would all have to fight as one to even but to even you, put up a fight. But but Cinder was trying to stack. And Cinder, oh, that's true. And we don't know if uh, well, I don't know if they can stack yet. Oh, you can assume again. Yeah, you assume. I yeah. mean, you you can you can you can you can assume again, right? Because why else would uh? Because you saw when. Cinder uh, grabbed Raven. She was you like, saw like the little yeah, going into her hand. Yeah, so yeah. she was trying to. So you can, and uh, she was almost baffled. She was uh, the Vernal thing was more open, eye opening to me. How she was more baffled, like she didn't get the power. She was like, yeah. She's like, where's it at? Which is yeah. Which I mean, she was introduced from Salem into this. So Salem probably told her about this and was like, "Yo, I'm gonna have you, Dude. a young little girl." So you can kill all four maidens as a female, and you'd be young, and then pretty much be on Ozma level if you killed all four maidens. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, cool. But like I said, then it's really interesting because with Raven, yeah, if she had killed Cinder right there, yeah, she's not a young girl anymore. Oh, so she oh, would. That's so true. does she get grandfathered in to where she's able to get the other maiden powers? Just because she already has it? Just because she's already there? It's like a phone plan pretty much at that yeah, point. It's like, yeah. or it's like you just keep the same price. Or does it go to the like, last person? And that would have probably essentially been Ruby because before she thought about them, she was thinking about Ruby. I mean, true, but she was looking directly at Raven, which means well, it would I, go to someone random. Oh, it goes to someone random. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, okay. 
So unless it was, I mean, she wasn't an old hag, but it's like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We, it's not. There's no rule. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like, I'm, hey, you know, yeah. you're, you're, oh you're, you're thirty five. You, right, you can't dude. get it. You know, it's like my head hurts. It's so much thought process, bro. <laughs> but back to what I was saying about um, uh, these two. Um, you have Salem. Yeah. Who she cannot die, right? Yeah. She's immortal, so she pretty much stays the same age. Yeah. She doesn't get older. She doesn't get younger. She doesn't bleed. Everything just kind of goes back. Um, but then you have Ozma, who oh yeah, but but like when she, if she died, right, she would come back. And it would just be her, yeah. right? She can only grow through her experiences. But then you have Ozma, who reincarnates into someone else, yeah. a like-minded soul, but different, yeah. and then they merge. Yeah. So it's a stacking effect. That's so true, he just yeah. keeps getting more and more people, yeah. more and more experiences from different lives and all yeah, this other stuff. True, and it's like true. he's. He's the cold. He's the combination of countless men trying to. I'm trying to get the quote right. Trying to, um, who spent their lives trying to save the save remnant, something like that. I yeah, forget yeah. that, but countless men trying to save the world. Right. He's the combination of all of them. Yeah. So it's like he's growing as a person. Yeah. And although yeah, yeah. he may, and eventually they all, eventually they succumb. So the two souls merge, but Oz Ozmas takes over. Yeah. And he's eventually in control. Yeah. Right. The other person kind of merges into him. So eventually, like I said, now we have Oscar mm-hmm. who's going eventually going to merge in that is a cycle. He's going to merge into Ozma. I think the story's gonna end and it's gonna break and Oscar is gonna be his own person. I yeah. think that I think that's gonna it's gonna I think that that's my opinion on the or that's my theory at the end, I end of the show. I but, agree. Like I said, I, I think yeah, I agree with your finale. I agree hundred percent with that. But um, like I said, he's able to grow, and yeah. even though they may disagree, they're still like like minded souls, but they can disagree. Yeah. Right. So it's like they can have different thoughts. So he's able to grow as a person through thousands of years. Yeah. And he's like. It it's just so fascinating. Yeah, it's <laughs> to see that. <laughs> and you're starting to get into what's my favorite territory, where um, because I don't actually have really anyone to talk to about this besides mm-hmm. like the people who do who are in the comment section and in the Discord the, and the Ruby Reaction Discord, which you should join by the way. Um, but it's free. <laughs> but I mean, I have a couple of other people. Yeah, like I have um, I don't know, I don't. I, Two online friends, a coworker, yeah, yeah, that like they watch it, but you would probably be the only person I can like dive into because I've actually oh, yeah. I've been through your entire, yeah. so I'm actually really excited <laughs> to have that because a lot of people don't, a lot of people look at the show and they're like, no, I'm not watching that, and then there's people that watch it that want people to talk to about it, and they're like, mm, no one will watch it because they're they look at it at the first glance, yeah, dude. I'm just thinking about how this is getting. As far as I'm thinking about how the show's gonna end, I'm not even caught up. Sorry. It was, it was, uh, I uh, think that because it's... clearly the end game. But clearly, we just learned who the two end game characters are. It's literally Asma and Salem. They the show cannot end with both of them standing. They have someone has got. They gotta go. So I, know, I think they're both gonna leave. I know. I know. I know that. So, but what, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, is that they're they're gonna the show's not ending until they're ending. Pretty much is what I'm saying. Yeah. So now I got it's got. I, think, well, I it's got, maybe an episode or two after. It's after got the, me. Uh, it's got the, the thoughts brewing of how their their lives are gonna like. How is the story gonna end? Like how is how is he gonna make defeat her? And how is she gonna understand the life or death situation? Like how how is that all gonna happen? Or. Oh, also your previous comment um, when I was asking you about the um, how the relics work, you said you needed to see one, and you can guess on how the other ones work. So yeah. now we have we got to we got to see them in this in this one. Yeah. We got, they're actually like shaped like weapons and stuff too. Salem lived. Sorry. Until his unchanged relics will themselves there you go oh. back right here so okay so we have the um knowledge the um lamp, of knowledge. lamp relic of knowledge yep right so it's a lamp yep we have the uh staff of creation staff of creation right we have the sword of destruction, destruction. and mm-hmm. we have the like crown of what's it um, called again uh choice choice so 
Kind of makes sense. We've seen this one. Yeah. Right? So what do you think these three do? So... Well, it's, knowledge... let's just say they're, they're headed to Atlas. Yeah. So it's going to be Staff of Creation. Okay. So what do you think the Staff of Creation does? I'm going to say that... So knowledge gives you three... choice gives you three questions. I mean, does it... Maybe it gives you, like... So we can... we There's a check and balance system. Yeah. Right? It might be unique to each one. I mean, do you do you think it's going to be three questions? I mean, what do you think when you think of knowledge, right? Yeah, you, you think you think of knowledge. It answered questions. Yeah, it gave you knowledge. Yeah, right. So that makes sense. So I don't think there's going to be three things. What I think it's going to do is that they allow you to create. Maybe it allows creation of maybe one thing, but it can't be. I don't even know, man. What would be the role? In, I'm trying to think of like what the rules would be on the creation you could create. Because uh, I, I think creation and destruction would be opposites, like yeah, but parallel. Yeah, parallel opposites, yeah, yeah. Parallel but opposites, yeah. like, a, like a mirror almost. Um, Destruction, I feel like, is going to be like you can destroy something, but it cannot be something that goes against the gods' um, rules or like what the gods have already in place. So like you can't say like, I choose to destroy Salem. But like, oh, well, tough. She's she's infinite. Until... You can't you can't destroy Salem. Yeah, that's what she's I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that would go against the gods' powers. Like, yeah, you can't. Go well, against... even if you tried. Yeah, yeah. Even if it wasn't against, like, yeah. they tried to destroy Salem. She's immortal. Yeah. You cannot destroy Salem. Okay, so that's what I'm. Yeah, so I don't think that would, that's how it worked. But there's I'm trying to think what creation would be off the top, but I can't. I don't think it's gonna be like choice of three creations or anything like that. I think you get one creation, but it can't be like certain. Like there's gonna be a limitation on it, for sure. There's not gonna just be like. Well, just. Uh, I don't know. Break it. Maybe. Break it down to what the words mean. Right. You have knowledge. What yeah. does knowledge do? It gives you information. Information. All right. Yeah. What did it? What did the relic do for us? Gave us information. Gave us information. All right. So we have staff of creation. What does creation? creates all right so what can it create or like what what would it be able to create anything right? that would be the question right it's like yeah. what can it create yeah i was gonna say that's i don't know what it can because i mean i would assume pretty much anything but there like i said i just i'm trying to think of what the limitations would be on the creation so when you think of when someone um creates something how do they do it right what is it, what's the process? They, they draw it out and they make it. And here's how it works. They draw it out? What yeah, do you mean? They like think of it. They get a little hypotenuse, a little, little writing down, a little scribble scrabble. Like, okay, that looks good. Let's do it. And then they create it. They're just like, I'm just going to make this this car. They're just like, boom, it's a car. Oh, no, they got plans to make it. And plans, which include blueprints and stuff. Steps, and right? Steps, yeah. So steps one step at a time? Oh, maybe that's maybe there's steps to it. Okay. So maybe, maybe it would be. To one thing, yeah. Only, yeah, it's true, baby. Uh, it's like create and then create and then yeah. create, right? But then we have destroy. Maybe it's destroy, destroy, destroy. Yeah, destroy. I but almost... choice. This is the one I'm fascinated with. This is why I think it, I've already talked to you. I think it's the most powerful one. I think it's able to sway people's decisions. Yeah, which I think you and I talked about. Yeah, we did. I think that's that, uh, why I think that one is the most dangerous out of all of them. Like, I would rather go against the sword of destruction than a, a choice. Yeah. You know, because yeah, yeah. imagine him just being like, no, like, you really just want to help me out. And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dang, dude. Yeah. I think, because I think that one's almost not really straightforward, but yeah, I think it's going to give you the choice of, uh, decision making like you just you can wow you can make people's choices for them kind of thing i agree with that i like that it's, power but that that's what i'm thinking because it's choice it's called yeah. choice what is that yeah. what does it do it gives you you can go one way and or a, there's a reason it's a crown bro like it's it just like, means you're the ruler bro you literally put like, that sucker like, on oh my gosh it's like and that makes more sense because when you're who usually wears crowns Kings. And what queens. do people what do people do with kings and queens? They listen, they listen to them, they follow them. Oh, yeah, so that makes sense. Like you know, put the sucker on. All right, you gonna make me a cheeseburger? You <laughs> go <gonna, laughs> get the staff of creation. And make me a cheeseburger, okay? Yeah, yeah. yo, if you, you don't go, know how to do it, go ask the uh, lamb, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Actually, oh, yeah, while you're on your way to get the staff, make sure you get that lamp because I want the best cheeseburger. And if possible. you mess it up, I'm going to get the sword, all right? Uh, like, you know? yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I agree with that 100%. Man, that was a lot. That was a lot. Welcome to Theories. Wow. Theory crafting. Yeah, that it was. Is, uh... It is phenomenal. Oh, now that I got this far, it's going to be straight thoughts out the memory. No, stop now, dude. <laughs> like I said, that was the longest one in, I think, all of it. And I mean pure. Yeah. Because you have, like, the season finales, which have, like, six, four minutes of credits. Sometimes they're, like, six, seven like minutes four, of credits. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's, it's only getting longer because, yeah. like, they're getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Which I can actually appreciate because they, like, put all the credits at the end. Yeah, like, okay, yeah, whatever, you know? yeah, yeah. So, um... But all right, so we've been going for a while, so we're going to move on <laughs> to the next one. Um, do all the um, algorithm stuff, like, comment, subscribe, yeah. join the discords, follow us on the Twitch, do all that jazz. It'll help us out, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Deuces.